day don't come and tell me nonsense i need peace of mind to reason and to finish well oh, are you hearing what i'm saying so you need so, and that is what i'm telling you so if you so the full name when you're mini ho so if you are so patch on trans and homeless you god bless you so if you are so the full name Never do you know when you hear? Who got cover the other captain in some dumb pan something by this? I'm not born when you need a swab up, please. So, yes, and then I'm to pencil, who know, and then the cinema and a macumas in some marginals in some into a babian. You are, yeah, most a babian. You are, yeah, most. 31st and I, the Lord gave me a message for you. And I wouldn't want to be missing words at all. I will want to stick with it. And then let's work the revelation. Do you know what I mean? I for notebook bra for pen bra e kan e no atwa we are serious e ko crusade when we are on out on our crusades i tell you when you come out to listen to the gospel you must come with a pen a bible and a paper whenever whatever we you don't have a bible whatever we we say you write it you go home you go check to you need then get a paper when you serious write the vision on tables and make it clear he that read it with it will run with it what should not have your poor when you make us a concentrate and pay careful attention sunday mornings and anytime we appear in the presence of god we don't joke with it you have come to mount zion to the innumerable company of angels you have come to the city of the living god you have come to you know the spirits of just men make perfect you have come to the almighty god you have come to god's presence where God is disseminating his heart unto his children because his word is life and brings light and gives understanding to the simple man. And if we are sick, can you? Can you be anywhere? Yes, so they are some pass. We saw can you? We see can you be also? Nobody lights a candle and puts it under a bushel. You put it on a candlestick that it may shine for everybody who is within the house to get it. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this Sunday morning I present to you Jesus Christ, one and mountainly free and near him, and a life without meaning, a life without essence. He can't through the grace to be able to live a meaningful and essential life he makes your life to count oh yeah who put yes to a barber sir when i'm here some no up we and the young son i want who put yes you are what punk and then pop i yes we call jerusalem and ask for a real crown one who sue you was in jerusalem jerusalem then i'm a person come in what power no some of god you're in a man's one she was comfort and worship over to us so daniel and come over boss jerusalem how i love to gather you why you also want to come at you for oh yeah i want to talk to you i want to speak to you i'm telling you when we talk about the prophets is not the kind that you have most of the yeah, most of your prophets in ghana are ex-anointed prophets yeah, ex-anointed prophets I'm telling you, most of your prophets have no business with God at this moment. They started very well. They started in the name of the Lord. Very well. Now they have turned into the prophets of Baal. Occultic people. Illuminatics. They are part of the Freemasons and the old fellows. Zodiac signs, enchantment, sorcery, magic, uh, necromancy. They brought it to church. So the person that you knew to be a man of God actually now is a spiritualist. There is a big difference. When we were kids, we used to walk on the street. You can meet somebody who can talk about something about you, your grandmother, grandma, mother, da 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 da. All these are soothsayers, palm readers. Your prophets. And so 
You may be sitting in church, but actually you may be in a shrine. Our churches are turning into shrines. And I keep telling the prophet, don't defend the Ghanaian prophets. You don't know what they do in the night. You may be defending your prophet, but you don't know what your man is doing in the cemeteries. I'm telling Ghana prophets, the Lord has ordered me to warn you or you are on your way to hell. You will get some money. You will get some fame. But I want to ask, people like Katechia Frifa, they got some money. They got some fame. The question is, where are they? People like Pierre, Lawrence, a Japan, Dito Dito, got some money, got some fame. Where is he? Now, sorry, I had a credo at tomb. Is this what you call a church? Didn't you hear? Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Hallelujah. So on 31st night, I read beautifully the scripture we read two years ago. You know, it was Luke chapter 13, verse 6 to verse 9. Into them say for Barbara, but I will be Barbara. Pe will be pen that you will be too. Will be Barbara. I will make you a over say bread to you. You may catch it on. It's time for you to wake up. I'm your baby. I'm your blue oil. I bet you won't go. What's here for? A Jimmy Four, we do not see him come. Abrakreira, Tuaria, Yabe Funku, back to sender oil. Follow me, boys, oil. Namuka, sorry, Jam Koch, Jim was here, some say. This is some of our team. Same pe oil, I made the Yemi Lufu, my boss, a Jimmy Befri, a year so, a Bamiso. Brad, is this madness that I've come into the house of God and the people can come these days to church with somebody's photograph and say Odi, me feel that in here, break in the, the church have turned into shrines because they want to dignify it and polish it i want to tell the ghanaian prophets we ain't afraid of you do we sound like cowards we are not those cowards no money no more we must until the day comes you cannot do anything to this voice this voice will not be abated it will not it will tell you it cannot be silenced it is going to get even more vehement and more vociferous until the mass is cleared from the house of god we will clean up the house of god and repair the house of god for the return of our master and savior his majesty Jesus the Christ I'm telling everybody in this place who understand whether you believe it or not Jesus is coming back again whether you accept it or not Jesus is coming back again we are telling the politicians repent and believe for Jesus is coming again repent out of your dead works for Jesus is coming back again we are telling the courts and the judges Jesus is coming back again repent repent and believe Jesus is coming back again and when Jesus is coming back again then I'm asking is your name in the book of life will he find faith in you when he returns will you be part of the elect of the Lord these are the most essential questions not follow me boys oil let me tell you something and Christians get it into your heads by all costs you will prosper even if you don't pray about it. That is why Muslims cry. I'm telling you. Prosperity is not predicated because you came to Christ. I know people who are not yet, who are not yet saved, but they are so blessed. If that is what you call a blessing. But the 
blessing, the real blessing is, you know, <laughs> a spiritual blessing. Tell you, that's where it starts. Owning a car, owning it doesn't make you blessed. Having a car and two houses, that's it. we don't call that a blessing. Blessed, blessed are they whose sins are forgiven, whose iniquity God does not remember. They are the blessed. Blessed! They are the blessed! So you can buy all the things. The people who stole this country's money and placed it in, in Switzerland, in Grand Cayman, in Monaco. I want to tell you, you know, you are still poor, wretched, naked, miserable, and vulnerable on your way to hell. If you are not saved, forget about it. I'm talking to you, the heart of God, this morning. Who need downcast if you don't have eternal life and if you are not living in righteousness, Tinini, I'm sorry for you. You are here wasting your time. Your seat is already in hell. They are waiting for your demise so they can install you on your chair. I want to tell everybody in this place, this message is not an answer. We are telling everybody to really find a place in your heart and repent. Make it right with God before it is too late. I'm telling you. We're looking at our scripture. Interestingly, let me, you know, Luke 13, verse number 6 to 9. The Bible said, and he speak also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came, sought fruit thereon, and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of the vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this tree, and find none, cut it down. Why cumbereth or occupieth the ground? And he answered unto him, said, Lord, let it alone this year also 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 ladies and gentlemen let it alone this year also till i shall dig about it and dango fertilize it if it bear fruit well if not then after that thou shalt cut it out will you kick it no, baby said, we digging about you and fertilizing you mumbe be hono mo the sterility of sin the sterile nature and the sterile spirit of this world is causing you to be unfruitful it me ba be fruitful me ho i'm digging about you and fertilize you to you anybody we fertilize well we're giving you another year and see whether you'll be fruitful or not. Can you see? Now, a beer, a vessel, a beer, not a so, not an answer, not an answer. What church? A church. Someone swap a fear when you're maybe coward. Can I tell you? Will be a one swap when in Nam Han and Nam Han and Nam Han and Nam Oba, sorry, who blue fuse, Oba, sorry, O Chimpra, Oba, sorry, who didn't say good. We are crown four pan at there. Dear now the Barbara Capas. We are not shumni Jezebel and Ma, you do a hand of pay and woman the Barbara a putu mutation. Dear, who bought tongues a fake. Will be a on crum crum tinimo. Yeah, what for Christ? So you should say you ran in the crowd. Jump God. For Galatians five twenty four, they say, "What bow honam akono? Any nation so dear? Ascendium, they that belong to Jesus Christ have crucified the flesh, and this last they have crucified it. Period. 
And so everybody in this place, you need to understand. I also hope we need help. So what I was telling you from 31st December, if that is the case, then you need 19 oracles for 2019. These are concepts, synopsis from God's, you know, infallible word. Something that is going to help you, that will aid you, propel you. It is going to, you know, uh, you know, give you the springboard, the, the beckoning, the aiding for you to be able to do well for God. And so I quoted Proverbs chapter 8 verse number 13 as the first scripture. And I said, fear God. Number one, if you want to be fruitful this year, fear God. Write it down. Fear God. Number one. Number two, I quoted Deuteronomy chapter number 6 verse 4 to 6. And I said, put God first. You want to be fruitful this year? Put God first. God is number one, not your phone. God, G-O-D, is number one. Not your phone. Not Facebook. Not Instagram. Not WhatsApp. God is number one. Tune you. Then I was telling you that everybody to you who wants to make this year, Joel 2.13, rend your heart. Rend your heart. Listen to the number four. This Sunday, I will take my time. I realize that I can't rush this thing. If you want to be fruitful this year, number four, be serious. Be serious. First Peter chapter four, verse number seven. Be serious. And here I will read from the New King James Version. Let me use the opportunity to salute God for my mother, Dr. Christy Dotete, who gave me an opportunity on the first Sunday of this year to come and minister at the headquarters of the Solid Rock Chapel International, the City of Faith. And this was the message I preached. Be serious. Be serious. Be serious. First Peter chapter number 4, verse number 7. 7 for God's glory. For the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in prayers. I read from the New King James Version. Seven for God's glory, but the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious. Be very serious. A lot of people are not serious people. We come to church, but we are not serious. I mean, my baby, I'll be a man lying who tells me you are not a serious person. You come to church without a Bible, you are not a serious person. We preach, you don't even take notes, you are not serious. You are wasting your life and your time. Listen to what we are talking about. We look in country, you mean to you. Now, so I didn't know you are being. It's a moment, my dear Monte. Mama, what do you want? No one in the home, my Bible. Pray! My wife, you want to tell us what you need a home, so I come. Why do you want to tell? You need. Men's God for you are yet doing a second now when you da hop and can see. I saw funny in sorry now yet a musica cocum. I had an hour sorry for a musica cocum as many as are led by the spirit of God. A deep for no, I must be a deep for a dena musica cocum. Tiaria, a dena on crum grand ganja musa, quite a musica be done. And I didn't need you. I'm telling you, be serious. A catcher and an appear mensa. God gave me a message to tell you. It's time to give your life to Christ. Number one, wherever you bring the camera, sir, let's talk to him. Wherever you are, number one, hear the word of God. Your time is up. It's time to give your life to Christ. The Lord gave me a scripture for you. I will read it to you. Jeremiah chapter 2. This is for number 1. Verse number 19. Jeremiah 2, 19. Read. Number 1. Your backsliding. A bit true in him. God is calling you back to himself. You will lose everything you have acquired 
except your soul. And the Lord is asking me, give him back your life. You need to accept Christ. Number one, wherever you are in the globe, around the world, come back to Christ. Baby, our funny dear. You know what I'm talking about, number one. Baby, our fan. And the Uber could see him. Yes, you some men crow crow and no pay to man can't get it. The tripling of a job. To all the men's gold customers, we are praying for you. Now, we will be in the city of Jimmy Bruta. Mark of fashion apps and in Kosia, the Boba Fomu, Kumasa Samu Bodia, Nipano, Aju, Sika, over Uki, Usika, eight billion, according to you. Now, Boni, the Ahana Vabitia. One minute. Mun you know Tiania Ubo Bidia who pays for the money? Are you not thinking? Minimwan come at the Bayam Pai Bo every other chinebra crocro no mame. Baby will be in your bibia monko you be the non family mere. Mini one kasam pay in a mebo. I could tam shinap kasia for Munim Shinap Nim Kushiano. I then a man can say the above for this woman children and one mother. I then a mujaya by home. Why are you disturbing the government to come in? And also, I want to tell His Excellency the President and all the team in government government plays a parental role to every nation. The nation is a household, the government is a parent. And my friend, you look what the parents intercept. Then cast it to your music, Mama, but I buy police in now or cause midland savings and loans, my man. If His Excellency, with all due respect, sir, and I'm told, so I'm sorry, with all due respect, if you were able to order the interdiction of that officer and criminal investigation started the same night you heard about it, Mr. President, you can do better in this case. You can do better. At least let the laws of this country work. It's a Miko Fidru, and I'm a Koji Ministry of Justice for Thousand Ghana. And now let's say that they found out that I'm driving Ministry of Information for Land Cruiser. And I'm not Master Sandino. Do you think I will be speaking to you right now? I watched the news last week, just Friday. A person who stole a 14-inch television was in prison for 14 years. 14 years for stealing a 14. Tell them I will replace the television. Let's you let him go. Somebody who stole a half bag of cocoa around the Asin area was in prison 12 years they were two 12 years 12 years then if this is the case then number one should be going to prison for thousand and two hundred years is it because he is affiliated is it because he is connected to somebody in a reputable position God is a judge and I'm telling you when you I'm telling you, you better repent and do what is right because righteousness and justice are the foundations of the throne of God. Freedom and justice. You said freedom and justice. Do you know the people who need justice? I want to remind you, the families. I was so very happy, Your Excellency. I no pay me to swear myself. Me na na Dorothy Efua Kaninti. Me a part of the family. Yeah, yeah. Mummy say ye, you know, secretary to the president. I said, Nana, I'm to be there too. Say, you know, Efua can you have a banana? You know, you know, I'm part of the family. Yeah, I'm part of the family. But with all due respect, Your Excellency, you know, if we are looking for justice, 
then I will urge you, you have only two years on this tenor, your excellency. We need justice for Honorable J.B. Dankwa. And do, we need justice. Your Excellency, if you finish this tenor and J.B. Dankwa Edu does not get justice, Your Excellency, with all due respect, you have failed. You, need, you know somebody, I want to tell the Honorable Minister of Information uh, Technology who said, why, 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 dig it out. Honorable Asla Uwusu something. I want to tell you, Honorable, about Abrantia Nunawaya Wuba. His name was Fennec Ochre. We need justice for Fennec. He bled in cold blood at the age of 32 and died. Justice for him till you. Oh, I don't want to, you know, intermeddle myself with the northern issue. Let me stay out of here. But I want to tell you want justice. Look at the way His Excellency was so quick and so sharp to go to uh, uh, Kumase and uh, the seven people who were mistakenly and wrongfully killed, you know, and 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 announce a 1.5 million CD compensation package. I want to ask your excellency, with all due respect, main nine disaster, still haven't gotten compensation, all of them. June 3, people still haven't gotten compensation. What kind of nepotism is this one? What kind of favoritism is this one? Let's give a fair play and a level field to all Ghanaians who go through some of these detrimental treatments and let them know that they are treated fairly. The mistake the police did, Honorable IGP, I thought by now you have learned your lessons without due respect to you sir sir the same mistake was done last week at Tishi. a young man 25 years on namne baby police put a bullet into his head and he's lying at the mortuary right now and you sit in church this morning honorable igp your men are doing so well but some are out of line can you imagine the pastor who was killed at community four police station and yet then a police investigating a crime can use his phone to take a view shot of the criminal or can a numerism and put it on the internet and everybody hears it i thought that investigation must be concealed and is professional and nobody should hear it what kind of you know unprofessional police officers can obstruct justice like that an honorable igp you watch these men to be part of your men i think that your seat should be shaken behind you i am telling you all those men who are not professional should be fired from the service i'm telling you huh? if you don't do the right thing god will find a way to replace you god will find a way just like vasti will replace you i told these some gospel musicians you either repent or the lord will replace you they thought we were joking Gospel free 80% of Jamaica. Gospel music shop. One of you and Tampe. W E E. We are a baby. Yeah, yeah. I will never fool me free, me person. I'm reminding all the secular musicians. Try hear the word. Munya serious. But mon kwane so tia na ete. Se see a bunny is one year old after her demise. A bunny who ye one year. It's reminding all of us our days are taken. All of us. Be careful the way you treat your wife. Be careful the way you treat your husband. I'm telling all the pastors and ministers in this country of the gospel. Be careful the way you treat.
treat your wife who said Bishop Bob Hudson will die for his wife to handle affairs who said Bishop Anoyabua Bishop Odom Bishop Tebri will die for their wives to be taken over who said Maxwell a champion will die for Lady Felicia to take over the church treat these women well my friend the late bishop uh, Akko Harrison had stroke for over three to four years if you treated your wife bad it's time, it's time for reciprocity it's now time for reciprocity that is why miracles don't happen in the house of God anymore many as we hear holy bath there is nothing like that if you want any sacrifice jesus have already paid every sacrificial price already there is no price to pay anymore the price is already paid for your your healing price is paid your victory price is paid your breakthrough price is already paid you don't need to sow anything before anything happens it is only the message of god for him to accept your sacrifices on the altar when you put it there he honest you you cannot buy god you cannot buy the altar of god you cannot buy the presence of god you cannot buy the things of god therefore when you give us money we it doesn't mean you we cannot rebuke you when you go wrong what are you talking about we will tell you the mind of God the heart of God Tear the earth. this year you are going to be serious because when you're serious are we serious as a nation look at the places we call hospitals are we serious that is why minister Minister, the other one called Burichiri. And more and more, we go across the day. We move and yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? I'm here. We are not serious. Pray three first center. And me call no BS in the dress in the breeze here. They are hotter. Look at the way. Anything government has neglected, people are taking big advantage of it. Look at water, for example. Ghana Water Company cannot expand and go to places that they should go. And so these borehole drillers are making money. Hospitals, same. Look at the way private hospitals are making money. Because we, uh, we, we, are, so, we are so blind. Our leaders are greedy. Greedy leaders. They come to office to pay their campaign bills first before anything can happen. Four years, you best sound like a toa moment. We give them jobs, we pay them. Sometimes I get so heartbroken when these nurse trainees and teachers are on the streets and are at the ministries crying that they have not been paid and they are crying and all that. And sometimes they are crying for salaries for over one year, they have not paid salaries. And yet the sector minister is receiving his salary every month. What kind of leadership is that? What kind of leadership is that? Jesus said, "Many of you men are missed some. Ni wa peswa ya kesi ni ma wanya sebi ya was some. Who lead our Jew with salaries? With I want to, I want to with you, uh, Your Excellency. This morning, a jantua, and a mi janta. Your Excellency, with all due respect, <laughs> and yet, Your Excellency." So we know now, my dear dear. So to me, shut to tomorrow, me and Kenya, me be shut out. Nanka me foot to in swim and eat here will fair. Huh? It be a nanka what bang in kebeche pa. And also a scripture. Daniel four twenty seven. Can you remember it? Into I hear my mouth foot to in your feet. Nana, my mouth foot to in your feet. Never turn a car or bunny. Never turn a car or bunny. Never hear fire. Never hear fire. Dear, dear. As a summer moon, as a summer moon. 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 As a summer moon
this country is too poor and miserable for us to pay per diem to anybody from yourself your excellency with all due respect to any civil servant this country cannot pay per diem to anybody yesterday i was watching the the uh, i think the adunkwa obuasi road your excellency with all due respect it's time for rigorous, vigorous, belligerent, scintillating, cataclysmic, catatonic, catastrophic leadership. We can do far better than Rwanda, Your Excellency. So please, we need to come to the place where no civil servant or government functionary receive a penny except their monthly salaries when they travel out of this country let's save the money and fix our roads schools and hospitals number two if anybody applies for a visa in this country and the visa is refused let them refund their money back to them if you can do that you can even be here and we will advocate we need nana here and yes sir they are give the poor people their money they want a visa you're not giving them the visa give them their money case closed it's cheating we don't call it administration this is cheating and i'm telling america that is why the judgment of god is facing you like something europe saying give them back their money Anybody you refuse a visa, they must get a refund. I'm telling you. And lastly, Your Excellency, I think that it should be incorporated into our governance system that anybody who serves this country, after they have finished their tenure, just like the public accounts committee setting, there must be something like an independent body where from the president to everybody must appear and give account for your stewardship we demand this as citizens not spectators of this country stand to your feet let's work we will pray for this country as we do every sunday morning we will sing the national anthem it is my assignment god has given me to warn this nation from their sin iniquity and cruelty and we're asking the grace of god prophets of ghana munye serious munye serious munye nse unonu amoki kakikano nebrate edin ahonte don't allow anybody to be telling us nonsense concerning the name of the lord before we sing the national anthem this morning i will read titus chapter 3 verse 8 and then we will sing the national anthem and pray for the country and there, this is the conclusion of my message titus the third chapter the eighth verse the bible said this is a faithful saying and these things i will that thou affirm constantly that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. We look in kind. Tito, itra emiensa imu eyongo chino. Tito, itra emiensa imu eyongo chino. Tiwa diyasi. Eyano kwasem. Eyano kwasem. Na ye 